Kia Ora from Auckland. Welcome to Mission Bay. Who fancies a day at the beach? I do. What an absolutely spectacular day. We are at the Michael Joseph Savage Memorial Gardens at Bastion Point. Very stunning views, especially of the city centre. Indeed. We are at a headland known as Bastion Point, the end of which is now occupied by the Tamaki Yacht Club. On the other side of the road once stood Fort Bastion, built during the Russian scare of the 1880s. Gun emplacements here once guarded the entrance to the Waitmata Harbour, as did other fortifications on Mount Victoria and North Head at Devonport on the North Shore. Bastion Point was named after the Bastion Rock, a distinctive fort-like outcrop which stood offshore here until the 1920s, when it was demolished during the formation of the Tamaki Drive. This is now the site of the memorial to Michael Joseph Savage, New Zealand's first Labour Prime Minister, remembered by a tall obelisk, sunken pool and gardens. Let's take a look around the gardens. So it's an absolutely fabulous sunken garden and you might be able to see at the top of the tower a light shining. If I zoom in, hopefully that will come out. And this is the memorial to Michael Joseph Savage, the first Labour Prime Minister of New Zealand. I love these water features. Many times when we see them, they don't actually work, but this one is in full operation. Do you think that's a lion, Paul? So. Yeah, a lion. So here we are coming up to the Memorial Tower. It's lovely. Even more so on such a sunny day. We've been really lucky with the weather, I think, today anyway. I'm not sure what we can see in here, if anything. There's a padlock on the door, so you can't actually go in. But now with the sun just behind the tower, you can get a closer look. In fact, with those two trees on either side, it almost looks church-like. And from the other side, you can see the reflecting pool. It's rather calming. Okay, let's take a walk up the steps and see what we can see. We always seem to be climbing steps in this show, don't we, Paul? Oh, and I'm not very good at steps. I'm not very good at walking, actually. Uh, yeah, no, ever. Oh, however, I think this is giving us a good view of the city over here. And also to the other side at Mission Bay, where we'll be heading shortly. Michael Joseph Savage, 1872 to 1940. He loved his fellow men. This monument is erected by the New Zealand Labour Party in memory of Michael Joseph Savage, first Labour Prime Minister. There is no fame to rise above the crowning honour of a people's love.
We're on our way to Mission Bay. Oh, it rhymes. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. And <laughs> <laughs> it's one of Auckland's most fabulous beaches we have yes. been promised. And it's somewhere where you go for ice cream and coffee. Now, who could say no to that? Yes, please. As the sign said, it's about a 10 minute walk. Fortunately, it's all downhill, but that does mean that when we get the bus back, it's all uphill. Oh well, can't have everything, can you? The birds definitely sound different here, don't they, Paul? Yeah, I think that this is different language. Yeah, they were saying on the tour bus, if you saw our previous episode, that some of them make these kind of like squawking. screaming noises, like squawking and screaming. Yeah. Intimidation. Um, yeah. Talk. I guess they try to intimidate um, other types weaker. of bird. Yeah, bigger birds. Yeah, weaker birds. The weaker or, ones. Yeah, the weaker ones use their voices, perhaps. Listen. <gasps> now, just be careful here. I think there are steps ahead. Oh, I'm really not looking forward to coming back up here later. Oh, gosh. <sighs> nice of you to finally join us. Oh, what are you doing? You know that I'm not very good at walking on steps, my dear. Ah, walking into the light. Oh, what is this? Looks like a, it looks like a sign. Yes, it's probably a Maori sign. I think that is the birdie. Oh, it's the kiwi. Yeah. Ah. Right? Yeah. And there is the sea affront us. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Hey, I like popping out. Just like you would get when you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus. Thank you. Welcome to Mission Bay and we are at the Trevor Moss Fountain and it's obviously saying hello because it's just picked up some pace and there's a sign that said it plays at certain times. I wonder what it plays, is it music or is it playing some water? I don't know. Playing but, water maybe? <laughs> <laughs> but it's certainly spurting lots of water out of its spout at this very moment. You know, we were just approached by this guy that said hello to us and then he was asking where we were from and then... No, I think that that's what we've noticed here. Yes, that everybody's very friendly. And he very friendly. And he was telling us about the, the, Maori. the Maori origins of this particular area. And he even offered to, to take us up to a old Maori ground. ground. Um, unfortunately, we, don't, we just don't have the time today. Uh, everything's sort of short and he was with his kid and everything. So uh, it was nice. Also. It was very kind. Oh, I'm getting wet. Oh, I'm getting yeah. Wet. This might not have been the best way to walk. Ooh, look. Here is the beach. Oh, Lord. Lovely golden sand. This is nice, isn't it? Take it in. I'm Do you not know sure something? when we're coming back here. There's a cloud over there that is in the shape of New Zealand. Where? Or am I just imagining things? That one right there. Yeah. So we brought our bus map out because I thought it might be interesting to see exactly where we are. So we started off at Bastion Point and we've come down to Mission Bay. That was the fountain. And we've discovered that on the way back, we can just walk along the beach, joining the road and get on at the next stop, which is the Kelly 
Tarleton Sea Life Centre and that'll save us having to walk up that hill. It might actually be a little bit of a longer walk, but no hills. But just looking at the map here and looking ahead of us, I can see a mountain. Well, actually, it's probably a volcano. a volcano. And I thought, oh, what is that? And luckily, it does say on the map because straight across here, it shows that it is Rangitoto. What I've got to say about Auckland, and I don't know if this is true of New Zealand as a whole, but there are public toilets everywhere and they are in places where you actually need them and they're open when you need them. Why can other countries not follow their example? This is absolutely fabulous. But the toilets that we've just been to here at Mission Bay, they also have showers. And of course, because we're like right by the sea, so you're going to have sand you do need it. between your toes and maybe other places as well. And then you will go in there and, and shower. So, I mean, it's just fantastic that these facilities are when, provided when. and they are all absolutely free. This could be a fossil several million years old. Oh, or it Is might it? be... Oh, wood. It's either wood or it's an old bit of bone. Ooh. Anyway, maybe I should just play in the sand right? yes. rather than pick up weird uh -huh. objects. Ooh, look. It's quite soft. But if you dig down... It's cold. Well, it's, it's not cold. It's actually quite warm. Oh, is it? Yeah, but it's wet. Look at this. Let's have a look at the sand. Get rid of the leaf there. <laughs> it seems to be a slightly thicker consistency than what you would find at Port Stewart. Um, what I would say is that it's probably because it's a little bit wet because there was a rainstorm yesterday. But it's it's dried out pretty well. Um, it's, it's not soaking wet at all. Um, but it's quite nice, look. You could probably build a sandcastle with this because if you brought your bucket and spade, and I don't know if that's a thing here, but, uh, ooh, oh look, <laughs> what's this? Oh, it's a leaf, shell. no, it's a leaf. Oh, is it? Yeah, but there are shells, look at this, they're tiny, tiny shells. Look at that. Look, something's been in there, right? What, like an animal? Yeah, little, mini oyster shells or something. Maybe, Look at that. Maybe it was a big oyster shell that broke or something. No, no, look, it's perfectly formed. Let's see what else we can find on the beach. What do you have here? That's another shell, it's a bigger one. Look at this. So there was probably like a clam or something in there, is that mm. right? Because you can see where it was attached at one time. You mean like a mollusk? Something like that. But I wonder how old that is. It could be thousands of years old. Really? Because it then breaks down into sand, because that's what sand is. It's old sure. shells, basically broken up over millions of years. You didn't know that I was David Attenborough, did you? <laughs> there are pigeons here. Ew. Yeah flying rats um, but I also see down here a colony of birds they just seem to be sort of seagulls. sitting yeah seagulls I thought that they didn't have any of them here. well it's probably a slightly different branch of the family but there's one over there too just sitting is it perched yeah but I wonder if we get closer to this one, will it fly away? How close can we get so we can get a nice look at this birdie? A birdie on the beach. Look at this one too. That's a pigeon. There's a seagull. Hello. That's all right. Yeah, off you go.
the birds are just like us, really. It's taking in the view. I'm not talking about the person in the sea, by the way. I was talking about the volcano. I hate sand. I'm gonna walk up to there. This is gonna get all in my show. Now, Paul, time for you to play in the sand. What would you like to do? No, thanks. Oh, gosh. I have my bag. Um... What can you find? Well, Anything? Look, there's a big stick over there. There's a bit of wood. Oh, what's this? Oh! That's part of a tree. Look! Look! Look at the wee bird. Yeah. No, you're scaring it off. Oops. <laughs> I really hate walking in sand. Oh, gosh. I'm always trying to not get the sand in your sneakers or whatever. And it's like taking those really large steps. And here I thought that the sand was hard, which is why I was going to go on the sand. Almost out. Paul doesn't like walking on sand, but I don't really mind it. I don't like walking through sand. Oh really? I didn't know that. No, because I'm always thinking that I'm gonna get the loose sand in my sneakers. Well, you just have to tread carefully. Hmm. Anyone for coffee and ice cream? Off you go then. Bye-bye. Bye. You always find very interesting sculptures or monuments, and they don't have to be towering pillars. They can just be circles in the ground. What is this one? Manuera by Fred Graham. This artwork is inspired by the military and civil aviation accomplishments of Leo and Vivian Walsh, including their renowned flying school based at Mission Bay. So I noticed there are, there is a South Authentic New York pizza, but I don't really want that because I know what that feels like. There's a Kiwi Yo, self-serve frozen yogurt. There's a Mission Thai. There's a Bald Eagle Diner. So I really want diner food in Auckland when I could get it in New York. Probably not. So shall we, what about Mission Bay Cafe? Yeah, and there's also an ice cream parlor at the end. Oh, a, is a, there? A moving pick, yeah. Hey, this place behind me does coffee and ice cream. Oh, really? Shall we do both? It's Swiss ice cream. I don't care what ice cream it is. So you want some New Zealand ice cream? Look, it says Kapiti, a New Zealand original. Ah, and look at all these flavors. This is plant-based, some of them. Well, these two anyway. Take a look at the rest. Oh my god. What is this hokey pokey? I see hokey pokey all over the place. I think that that's just like a flavor. Yeah, but what is it? I don't know what it is. It's a state of mind maybe, I don't know. Uh, so I'll have one of the hokey pokey. 
please. And what should I get as the other one? Uh, what's affogato? Affogato's coffee. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. I'll have a affogato as well, please. What is hokey pokey again? Um, you just try it. No, so no. Try it. Could I have the strawberry and cream? So what is it that you got again? Hokey pokey. Yeah, and the arigato. Which so the. Pokey Pokey is the... It's like a crunchy bar. It's like uh, vanilla yeah. and crunchy. And the arigato is coffee. I don't even know. But there you go. It's, it's called Kapiti. And mm. it's a New Zealand original. So let's see what it's like. And then I have the triple chocolate and the vintage strawberry and cream. So there's nothing adventurous about mine. I do like this vintage strawberry and cream. So how is each of the layers? Mmm, good. I think this is a good combination. Good choice. Mm. I prefer not to have the cone though. Especially if you're sitting down. Because Why sitting down? <clears throat> well, if you're sitting down, it's easier just to eat it out of a tub, I think. If you're walking along, perhaps I get a cone, but then it starts to run down on you your fingers now. I feel kind of guilty for having an ice cream but at the same time we are on holiday so why not? It says a New Zealand original. Mm. What did you think of your ice cream Paul? It was good I should have gotten some kiwi flavors but I did like my choice nonetheless. Yes, and now at least I know what Hokey Pokey is. I've seen it in a chocolate bar as well. I think Whitakers do one. Mm. So I think I'm going to have to pick one of those up. It's basically yes. like a crunchy. The only thing is, um, when I got towards the bottom of the ice cream, um, the crunchy bits have got quite hard and frozen, and I didn't want to risk ripping out one of my fillings mm. while I'm in New Zealand, no, because I'm a long way away from my very good dentist back in London. So we've had our ice cream and I think now it's time for coffee, don't you, Paul? Tornioni's, I think, an Italian restaurant. So the coffee should be pretty good here, right, Paul? It tastes kind of strong. Ooh. Hot. It's strong and hot. Ah. Hot. Well, I might just have to go like this first. Mm. And this is another Mission Bay tradition. In fact, I would say it's a legal requirement to have ice cream and coffee when you come here. Well, we're leaving Mission Bay now, but not until we have another walk along the seafront. And we're walking the other direction down to the Sea Life Center, which is where we're going to pick up our bus. And one thing that we haven't done yet is to actually go down to the water's edge. Oh dear. Yes. Are you going to go into the water, Paul? <laughs> well, I've got a little towel with me, so you could actually dry your tootsies afterwards. What do you no, think? That's all right. No? I'm and not in the mood. It is actually quite warm. It's, it, it feels warm. I and had to I had to take off my hoodie before. Well, I'm still wearing my puffer jacket. It feels warm to the touch. 
and there are people who have actually stripped off on the beach just a little bit behind us there. You can get a good picture of what Mission Bay looks like behind us there from the beach. There's the fountain that we saw at the beginning. Well, I think we've both really got to at least touch the water with our fingers, if nothing else. Step back a bit. Want me to hold your bag? So, do, does it feel warm? Is it? Ooh. It's sort of. Sort of warm. Do you want to go? And did it smell salty? A little. Okay. I am not tasting it. Oh, Sorry. No, smell Do you have a go? Okay. It's nice. Bad. No, I mean it's it's not stone cold. It's it's, it's sort of warmish. Yeah, it's war it's warming up. You know, I think I will lick it. Yeah. It's not overly salty. All right. Yeah, I had saltier fish the other day. Yes. <laughs> but at least now we can say we have touched the seawater in New Zealand. Hmm. I still can't believe we're actually here. You know. Well, it is starting to sink in now, I think. Is it? And I think when we watch this back on YouTube, it'll, it will all coming back to you now. Isn't that a Celine Dion song? Yes. It's all coming back We don't want to, to pay me. royalties. Yep. Yeah. So let's just focus on the waves for now. Yes. I wish I could bottle this to bring home. Well, you brought a bottle with you, could have <laughs> The seaweed, it really smells like Northern Ireland here. It's kind of drying, isn't it? Yeah, and that's probably when it's releasing its toxins. Antioxidants? Yeah. <laughs> Look how green that mountain is in the distance. And it looks so smooth and flat. That's what I noticed on the plane flying in. That everything looked as though it was made of almost like velvet. It was so smooth. So you've got this like pile of rocks up here. And then interestingly, there's a bit of beach jutting out and there's another bit, a bit of beach that's an island over there. Well, I don't know. Stepping stones? So there's the uh, the sandy island, let's call it that. And there's this piece of beach jutting out over there. Oh. And then we've got like a little oh, river. Yeah, that's a little, a little waterfall. How oh, pretty. There is a bridge to cross over there if we need it, which I think we will because I don't think you can climb up the wall anyway. But it'd be quite interesting to see how far round we can get. I would call that squelchy down there. I don't think I'm going to risk walking on the rocks. It might be a bit slippy. There is... Oh, I don't believe this. You've got to see this. You've got to see this. Look. There's a bird over there. But it's, it's washing itself. It's having a bath. Is it like a duck? Is it, is it? Is it a duck? I thought it was a, a duck. And there's another one in the background. But I thought it was like holding something to, to wash itself, almost like with a, like a loofah. I think it's just its tail feather sticking out. 
If it is a duck, it'll be the first duck we've seen here. That is a duck. Is that one injured? It's very thin looking. It doesn't look too healthy, does it? But do you know what this reminds me of here? No. Bally Castle, because there's the sea and there's a little river running in and it leads up to a little bridge that goes across the beach. And with the seaweed as well. I, so I don't want to walk across, but I feel like it's not stable. Uh, well, if you walk, why do you want to get over there though? <laughs> because you can't actually get up on the other side as far as I can see. We'll just have to go round and over the bridge. Do you know what these look like? These look like molten rock with um, seashells. Yeah. Right. Like Are they living? Like, kind of like blended into it. Are these living mollusks or something? Still no, attached I think to they've been dead. I think it's from the hot molten lava. And that's just the way that they. Yeah. Cool. They set. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's basically like an explosion. Things that get caught in become part of them. Solid, I guess, yeah. over years. Gosh, I've never seen anything quite like that before. Look. Very strange. Here's the bridge, so we'll get a view from the other side. Oh, that really is where we leave Mission Bay behind us. Mm, yeah. But we'll see you next time. But in the meantime, you can all subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, and we also appreciate your likes and comments. So until next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye.